hello everybody welcome to another vlog in cape town it is monday afternoon and it is such a lovely day today after a week of weird bad ish weather just made myself a lovely little hummus veggie toast that i am very excited to eat today i went to a yoga class with my friend maya after that i actually had a tattoo appointment we got my tattoo done uh, but this week it's a bit busy because i am going to be moving around a bit um still actually looking for the next place that i'm gonna stay so tomorrow i'll actually be staying in a hotel it's kind of like a small boutique hotel which i'm quite excited about i'm sure you all have heard now about the travel restrictions that were placed against south africa and although i had already planned to extend my trip kind of happened right around the same time that um, my flight was cancelled. I'm going to now eat my lunch here while I look for more rentals. So wish me luck you guys and I will check in in a little bit. So I just um, checked into my next spot that I'm staying at for one night. It's called Noah House and it's here in the Tamberkloof neighborhood. It's a really beautiful home that they've converted into like a boutique hotel. The room is really beautiful and very minimal and simple, just how I like it. So I thought I would show you around. I have a little desk here. I really want to check out this book. And the little room key. Yeah, I definitely need to do some work while I'm here too. <laughs> and then this is the bed. Nice little view here. And wardrobe. And all of my luggage. I definitely have too much stuff with me right now. <laughs> it's not even all of it. Yeah. Here is the bathroom. So yeah, a really comfortable place to stay for the night and um, I'll try to show you some other parts of the house too. There's like an outdoor balcony and little dining room area too, so I'll show you guys that later. Tomorrow I'll be moving into an Airbnb that I'll be staying at for like a week, so yeah, it's a lot of moving around. Um, and then after that one, I'll be staying in the next Airbnb for the remainder of my trip, which is nice, so I won't have to move again. Oh, I forgot to show you. I got my tattoo yesterday, and it is healing. Yeah, so the tattoo is looking really great. Next day, so happy with it. I don't know what I last caught you up on, but basically I went to um, a place in gardens called Palm Black. Actually, I think it might be in Timberkloof, Timbers Kloof <laughs> neighborhood. It's called Palm Black and I went to see Matt and he does a lot of like hand poked designs. So he just sketched this up and did it in like less than an hour. I think like it was super fast, very um, low pain level, like pretty much no pain at all, which I've heard is true for the hand poked style rather than using a machine so that was really nice and yeah just great vibes there all around met some lovely people while i was there and i'm super happy with how it turned out too so yeah highly recommend if you are in cape town and looking to get a hand hand poked tattoo anyways i'm going to get on with the day and see where it leads me Hey guys, so it is a little bit later now, it's about 7.30 and I've just been here editing like for the past few hours. I actually went out um, for a late lunch today, I went over to PNG, Power and the Glory, and um, yeah, had a really delicious giant salad there and actually ran into a couple of people that I know, which is really cool, I feel like there's always people there. <laughs> um, but I am just finishing up this video that is going out tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. It is the video that I am doing to promote the launch of the Cladwell online course. 
that I'm hosting as a class leader, which is really, really exciting. So that is all happening tomorrow. I'm kind of nervous about it and I just need to finish this up, but very, very excited to announce that. Yeah, just need to put my head down for now and get through some of this work. <laughs> so I will check in with you all tomorrow morning. So I just checked into the second Airbnb that I'm going to be staying at for only five days, unfortunately. But this was like the Airbnb that has been on my wish list to stay in Cape Town for literally like a few years. And it is stunning. So let me just show you guys around right now. So when you walk in, this is the big um, entrance area. And my little keys in the bowl there and then this is the living room i do have the doors open to let some um you know fresh air in so the noise from the street is a bit loud and that one bird is just <laughs> going for it um yeah so here is the living room area nice big comfortable sofa i love these types of sofas and nice big tv I really love the decor in this Airbnb especially and all the like natural lighting and just the layout of it is really really cool um, so I think that this space used to be like an old factory it does look quite industrial in here with like the windows um, but I think they did such a great job with this all the windows and these doors open up and then over here is a staircase that actually leads up to a private rooftop which is so gorgeous i'll bring you guys over there afterwards here's the living room and then this is the kitchen area which is like fully stocked um it's really nice has everything i need in there there's a little bathroom off to the side and then also a desk space which is really going to come in handy there's actually lots of beautiful black and white photography in here which i am obviously a huge fan of so it's exactly my taste <laughs> so i found that a lot of these um apartments in cape town actually have loft style bedrooms which is really interesting i just noticed like several airbnbs are in the same style so i think there's a lot of like converted industrial spaces like that here so here's the loft nice big full length mirror that I will definitely be taking advantage of for outfit pictures. <laughs> Here's the bathroom upstairs and yeah, like fully stocked, which is always convenient. You never really know what you're going to get in Airbnbs as far as like amenities go. And then here is the bed area, really cute little cozy spot here and overlooking the apartment which is very cool little nightstand and nice big tv right here too which i probably not use because i don't really take i don't really watch tv especially at night and oh i just realized that this is the what looks like the clothing storage so now we're gonna head up the spiral staircase up to the private rooftop also look at this giant mirror i just love that makes the space feel so much bigger and everything down here. And here is a little rooftop area. And look at this view. Nice little spot to chill out here. 360 degrees of gardens. I feel like it's going to be a very inspiring place for me to work for the next five days or four days really. Um, yeah, lots of filming and photographing in this space. It's just 
it's such a beautiful space that they've created here and that's really what inspires me so much like visually inspires me to create content and everything so yeah i'm thrilled i am so so thrilled to have been able to stay here received the nicest <laughs> just like without words so Eliza Cove who um, is my internet friend she's also a conscious living and ethical fashion blogger and Instagram person <laughs> and she um, a few months ago featured asked to feature me on her blog and interviewed me and she just posted the blog after kind of redoing her whole website. She just posted the interview and I just want to cry right now because she is so sweet and kind and she's always been so supportive of me. Um, and you know, I love talking to her online and just the way that she put the interview together and all the thought that she put into the questions and everything, it just turned out so beautifully. So if you'd like to read it, um, I'm talking a bit about like how I monetized my business and um, yeah, just my routine as a blogger and content creator. So if you're interested, I will link it in the description box. Eliza, Eliza, Alyssa. Alyssa. If you are watching this, I want to say thank you so much. You are so kind and so good at what you do. And also, if you all aren't familiar with her blog, please go check it out. She shares so many wonderful resources for, um, you know, creatives and for people interested in ethical and sustainable fashion and, you know, conscious living in general. And also, she's a new mom. So if you're interested in, you know, all of that related to motherhood, definitely check out her stuff. It's awesome. Yeah. I just wanted to share that with you all because it really, really warmed my heart and made me very emotional now. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just walked up to the patio. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you guys see that giant rainbow? <laughs> I just walked up here because I was going to sit out here and read and um, drink my tea and do some journaling and i realized it was raining which so can't sit out here but oh my gosh that rainbow is huge today just looking out at this beautiful view I should show you the view instead of my face beautiful view of the cloudy mountains so I didn't realize when I woke up this morning that it had been raining so when I got out there it was all everything was kind of wet so I couldn't do that I was also a little annoyed because I really wanted to go to like a 7 a.m. yoga class and I woke up in time for it. I woke up at like 5.30 ish today but I was feeling very sluggish and sleepy this morning um, so I basically blundered around and then <laughs> did not get there in time. I'm still in the outfit I was gonna wear to yoga. It's very comfortable. It's the free free label set that I've been wearing a lot lately. So yeah, I wasn't able to 
make it to the yoga class and it's like really close by too so it's really just my fault um this is when i went upstairs to sit outside and like read and journal and have a slow morning drink my tea and it was raining so i couldn't do that and then i turned around and i saw this giant rainbow like a huge rainbow um so yeah it was just a really nice reminder to me that when things don't go as planned that doesn't mean that you know don't be too upset about it because if I had gone to the class like I wanted to or if I had even just gone upstairs to like sit out there and read I would have been facing the wrong way and not have seen the beautiful rainbow yeah so that was very nice it was like the biggest rainbow I've ever seen that close up and it was very bright and then it um, I looked at it for a long time and I was like, okay, this is cool. It's probably gonna like fade away and then I sat down for a while and then I got back up and it was like even brighter and more intense and more colorful. Like I could see every single color in it. It's really cool. Um, and then you could see like lion's head in the background. So it's such a nice way to start the morning and I'm glad that I finally just dragged myself out of bed and stopped being all sleepy. So yeah. Having some tea or coffee this morning because I am quite tired and yeah, I've just been having a very nice slow morning here. Did some meditation or at least tried to meditate, but my mind is a little like distracted at the moment. I have quite a bit of energy right now that I would wanted to expel in a yoga class all as well though. Yesterday I had a very nice um, evening out with my friend Maya and we went to the public house on Kloof Street which is like a bar and restaurant but they have this really nice outdoor patio area where lots of cool young people are hanging out um, and I really wanted to go there because in the back of that courtyard they have Ham Shack Radio which is a local independent radio station they have like the coolest DJs um, they play all types of music and broadcast it online and I'm quite interested in like independent radio just um, in general so I've been following them on Instagram for you know, a few months now and was so excited to check it out in person I met one of the people that owns it too or that runs it and it was so cool to like see the DJs filtering in and out and of course they like play it over the speakers and the in the patio area so definitely want to go back there again such good vibes and i'm just i just love that that exists there i mean it's just awesome very cool creative spaces all around cape town and then i went over to um timberswinkle which is like a timberswinkle <laughs> i hope i'm pronouncing that right it's like a natural wine bar then we went over to Movable Feast for dinner and had a delicious little dinner over there. So just a really lovely evening, checking out a few places that have been on my list that I haven't been able to um, see yet. So that was really, really nice. I'm gonna be doing some work here, hopefully later in the day. I really wanna take some photos in here because this is such a beautiful space, um, very inspiring and then yeah, but for this morning, I'm just gonna take it really easy. Yesterday, I announced the um, online course that I'm doing with Cladwell app, and the response has been very positive, and I'm really, really excited about that. Yeah, that is the plan for today. But right now, I'm just gonna take it really easy and just relax and enjoy this wonderful place. It is Friday, December 3rd. So this morning I actually got up and went to a yoga class at a nearby studio that was really really lovely. Such a beautiful space. And then I went and grabbed a coffee in Dunkley Square at Maria's. Such a nice like outdoor seating area and I really like to go back there for breakfast again. And I also met um, a really lovely girl named um, Leopa, who is German, so we were talking and yeah, just a really um, enjoyable start to the day. I got back, it was only like 9am, which is wonderful. And then I did a bit of sunbathing up, out on the rooftop and some journaling and I've just been taking it very slowly. 
Now I'm just sitting down to do a bit of work quickly. I do want to get out of the apartment today because they're, I think they're painting across the, across the hall. So I can actually smell a lot of paint fumes like over in the living room. So yeah, my, but my plan is to get out today and go hang out at a coffee shop. I considered bringing my laptop, but really I like any work that I'm doing there I can do on my phone it's mostly just emails and easy things like that and then when I'm doing a lot of the editing it takes a lot longer so I prefer to be here at home where I can just like get really stuck into it for hours and hours and not have to not have to um, pause my work and yeah so when I go out to cafes I've actually just been like reading and you know eating and drinking coffee and talking to nice people meeting nice people and just really enjoying the moment and being present there all right guys i am finally heading out for the day it's about 12 30 ish i am really fighting the urge to take a nap right now <laughs> so just need to get out to go for a nice long walk and go find some caffeine and probably some more food too everybody so um today is sunday and i've just moved into the next airbnb today it's kind of a busy day um yeah it's really nice i love the location have some amazing views of table mountain so everything has gone really smoothly today which i'm quite pleased with and really loving this next place that I'll be staying at for a while. Yeah, and then this evening I have dinner plans with my friend Maya. We're going to check out Cliff Street House, which I've heard is really good. And on Sundays they actually have live jazz music, so hopefully we'll be able to catch some of that. Um, it's quite a, like, eccentric place, I think, but it's a bit fancier than some of the other restaurants that we've been going, that I've been going to and um yeah i'm really excited i think it's in an old like victorian home and it just looks like really beautiful from the pictures and everything it's like a full-on cloud waterfall over the mountain you can see where the mountain starts up in the corner there and it's just completely covered by all the clouds pretty cool view though so i'm gonna keep working now i'm almost done just made myself a little makeshift desk so that I could be super comfortable on the sofa. This is a very comfortable sofa. I kind of blend into it too. You guys, <laughs> these paint posts are just literally following me around now. And this is like a full on arch. It's like raining, but sunny, perfect rainbow weather these days. 